Hey, what's up, OG Nation? On today's episode, I'm here with Shelby and Glenn. Glenn is from where at? New Smyrna Beach. Well, my, my hog chapter is New Smyrna Beach, Florida, but uh, I live in Deland, Florida. Both are near Daytona Beach. Okay, and today what we're going to do is take him around the back roads of Leafers Fork, and then where are we going to end up, Shelby? Uh, we're going to drop him off in Linden. I picked him up at uh, Puckett's Bar down the road yesterday. <laughs> uh, kidding. He was sitting with, with some buddies, and uh, we started talking, and he was interested in knowing some back roads. And so I said, why don't I get the Middle Tennessee Hawk chapter to host a ride? And we're going to drop you. him where he needs to be. Uh, at 4 o'clock, we're going to end up in Linden. We are going to do a stop at a sleazy biker bar that just reopened recently down the road called Loggers. And uh, then we're going to take it from there. Who knows where we're going to end up uh, in the middle. It's going to be a lot of fun, basically. And then there's also some something that you do that is part of the reason that you're down here today and tell tell these guys okay. about that well I'm a freelance writer but I've written for Hog and now the enthusiast for about 12 years now and I'm doing a story on the air this area the region called Nashville's big backyard so uh, I'm here just to ride it I met Mike Wolf yesterday he took me around a little bit showed me the area he was on his 37 knucklehead so that was a lot of fun that's awesome and that's the American picker Mike Wolf. yeah right. yeah okay. yeah awesome well guys I tell you what we're gonna get ready to go we'll pick up on the ride all right so we're about to get this ride started right here and what I'll do is at different points in this ride I'll stop talking, let you look at some of the scenery. We're going to stop a couple of times. Glenn wants to take some pictures, possibly to use for the magazine. Let's get moving. Woo! It's a toasty day out here. Everybody's got to figure out where they're going to be lined up so we can get into our staggered formation. Two. I'm actually playing a little bit of hooky from work. Don't tell anybody, brother. We're about to run through beautiful Leapers Fork, downtown Leapers Fork. This is such a scenic destination for anybody. If you are a writer and you're thinking about where should I go in and around the Nashville Tennessee area come out to Franklin come out to Leapers Fork we have just entered Leapers Fork come out here and ride through this area right here there are some historic little places down here and historically biker places where motorcycles are welcome 100% this whole area right here Puckett's grocery and restaurant right there that's a historically biker friendly destination. And then don't blink because as soon as you enter Leapers Fort, you can pop right back out of it with Roscoe P. Coltrane. And boom, we're back in the Franklin. We're about to go right up underneath the Natchez Trace Bridge. Awesome little scenic route. Hopefully, I guess we're turning before we go into there. Yeah, we are. So we're turning right before we go into this bridge because we're going to go down and then back across that bridge. And if you guys follow my channel, you know how much I love bridges, brother. I hate them. I'm already sweating. <laughs> Jeez. Oh, I guess we're gonna maybe take a picture or something. Yeah, I think we're gonna maybe do a photo. A little photo op. So we got 15 bikes. We just stopped and took a little scenic picture of the Nashville Trace Parkway. Let me shut 
this. I just got somebody's exhaust. And I think we're gonna do this a couple of times. We're gonna make a couple of stops and take some pictures. I was trying to take my GoPro and I was trying to set my GoPro up on my helmet on the seat where I could film us while we were taking the photograph. But my GoPro kept making some kind of awful noise and it wouldn't go into record so it just said saving file so here goes my favorite Maybe I've just ridden over it so much that right now this isn't affecting me as like it normally does. But I just cannot look to my left and to my right. I think we're going to take another picture. 40 miles an hour, strictly enforced. When they put a sign up like this right here, you know there is a park ranger sitting up the road. This is a federal highway, I believe. National highway, something like that. I don't know. Federal, national. All I know is it's an expensive ticket. All right. So now we're going to head up. We're going to sort of walk onto the Natchez Trace Parkway a little bit and set us up somewhere where we can get a pretty good little photograph. A little further back, a little further back. Yeah. <laughs> that just registered what you were saying. Don't lean back. Don't lean. Whoops. Yeah, it's done. Well, I think that's the first time we've ever had the chapter take a picture as a whole chapter. Really? Yeah, without someone in the chapter taking the picture. Yeah. I don't remember ever even stopping here, truthfully. No, we stopped there on here? The scavenger hunt. You and I stopped oh, yeah, here. We stopped here last week. <laughs> Hey. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Short hey, <laughs> yeah, that was me, Ed. <laughs> hey, as a matter of fact, it's on video. <laughs> hey, let me go see that again. We're right over there. <laughs> All right. I don't think it's nicer view. The right or the left. I think the left puts it in perspective because of the house. I'm not getting that on video. <laughs> Smart man. <laughs> now look, I do. In, when Ryan's walking in front of me, nothing comes out of my I, mouth. I do my best to cut out and protect. But if you keep it's dropping still, bombs, I'm going to miss one. It's still evidence, though. Man. I yeah. may want to be president no, no. someday. All right, what is? Uh, the what are they building there? Uh, looks like a small house. Right yeah, <laughs> it looks real small from here. Yeah, they built that. Do you remember when they were building Isn't the bridge? I think that view looks better because of the hills and stuff. Yeah. 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 I saw it. Yeah. Yeah. I think we have to go for it. Yeah. 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 We have to go on this side. We're going this side. Don't get vertical. This is the this is the better. You want to do? You want to go off it's with that in the background? That's the better. And do you want one of those funny yeah. pictures that we used oh, to do on yeah. in Lake Tahoe? We do the fanny picture of looking over the bridge, and it's called Fanny Bridge. <laughs> yeah. I'm not doing Fanny Bridge. People have that. Everybody from behind. Oh, I was thinking that too. Guess whose suggestion that was? Put the vest on and stuff. So you got like a. <laughs> That's oh, yeah. Oh, oh, I'm I'm here. oh wait. Well, let me get the guy that's under six <laughs> foot. Stretch out. <laughs> yes. He's not gonna run us over. <laughs> Famous <laughs> last words. I'll let you know if he's gonna hit you. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So check this. Whoa, my goodness. Jeez, Louise. <laughs> Hey, I never, I never thought I was afraid of heights until I just looked over that bridge. Really? Oh, yeah, that's, that's a lot of things. Yeah. I've known it a long time. Oh, I don't know what they did on six months. I've never been on it.
Get your rockers. rockers. Go back. Everybody with their rockers. Look over the bridge. Oh, look oh, over oh, the bridge. Oh, Come on. I'm filming this. Yes. Yeah. What are we doing? Look over the bridge. Okay. Oh, did he do it already? Don't make my butt look fat. Nobody's taking a picture. All right, I'm done with the fanny picture. This is PG. So I think probably my this camera right here is probably gonna die before this one. Before my helmet cam. I like it when we get moving. Because this leather vest is toasty. Now we're going back over the bridge. How much fun is that? Let's just uh, let's just keep doing it. What I should do one day is just come out here and go back and forth, back and forth, back and forth until I'm able to navigate this bridge without my teeth sweaty. Well, they must have got to an argument. She's going that way and he's going back the other way. So we made a stop in. Is this called Loggers Inn? This is Loggers Inn? Loggers Inn. Loggers Inn, where is this at? Spring Hill? Fly, Tennessee. Fly, Tennessee. Oh, see, I didn't even know where we were at. Fly, F -L -Y. Tennessee. F-L-Y, Fly, Tennessee. It's a good ride, Ronnie. Do you see the, uh, the plane on top? Oh, that makes sense. Fly, Tennessee. Nate, you ever been to Fly, Tennessee? I have not, no. I don't know that I have either. <laughs> this is my first experience with Fly, Tennessee. Let's go in. Our picture So this is the Loggers Inn. Hey, Sean. Hey, Sean. Who ordered the Mountain Dew? Come here, buddy. Hi. You are a big puppy. His name is Ash Ho. <laughs> Is this thing kind of here? Yeah. Yeah. This is Brad when he had 10 things. You are a big puppy. Can you stop me? I'm 
gonna go over here. Yeah, he's opening hey, the door. You don't want yeah. the fuzzball. I don't know. Yeah, I think he wants me to throw that little this thing right here. Was that a ball? Was that a ball? Was that a ball? You want to make that ball? I think he likes my little fuzzy ball. He don't, no, he's scared. He's scared of his own shadow. He really is. Everything he's tough is how he's hiding. I can cover it where you can't see it. He stays right by me because he's a big sissy. So Fly Tennessee, vloggers in. Will you tell me something about your establishment here? He's probably been here about 40 years. He was actually, I drove to North Carolina. Man down the road, John Byrne. He, he is the he's going to start it out as a store. I mean, look, uh, game room for kids. But I think it first started like a, then he, they got tired of trying to make a little country store. And then how it turned into beer joint, I don't ever know if it's been a beer joint since about yeah. 80 or 82. That, that seems like a um, like a transition from country store to a beer joint. Okay, I'll take this away. I know you don't like the fuzzy thing. No, he's wanting to play with it. <laughs> what do you think about the ride so far? This is beautiful country. Yeah. Really beautiful. And the roads are so curvy and everything. I mean, it's like a, a rider's dream to yeah. go to a place like this. Well, and it doesn't help. I mean, it helps too that we've got Ronnie leading. He's uh, an excellent so writer. Yeah. yeah, well, you can tell he's, 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 he's totally familiar with the road. Oh, yeah. 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 I'm just kind of going with the flow and trying to. <laughs> so, this is actually, this is my first time to fly Tennessee. So, I've never been here before. Oh, right. The ride that we, were, that we went on this year, I ended up missing. Um, and I wasn't able to come out, so I think they stopped here previously before, but this is my first experience with this area. It's a pretty neat area. It's pretty cool. It's obvious there's so much history here. All the, you know, like the little old general store type buildings, you know, weather barns. So the gentleman inside told me, and I just got it on camera, uh, and I'll, I'll repeat it just in case it doesn't come out well. Um, he said that 40 years ago, the gentleman started this store as kind of like a uh, game room slash playhouse for his kids. Then it turned into a general store. And then after that, it, it, he said somewhere down the road it turned into. A so he's not real positive how that happened, uh -huh. but you know I've seen. I told him that's a likely transition from a general store to a to a beer joint. So. Yeah, kind of a roadhouse, I guess you'd yeah. call it, right? Yeah, absolutely. It's very cool. And Jerry got himself a new road glide. Because we're about ready to leave, right? Yeah. Hey everybody! Let's go. Yeah. Uh, we're fixing to leave. We're gonna next stop. We're going to Centerville. We're taking back roads to Centerville, and um, we're gonna stop at a gas station. And there's a McDonald's right next door. So I'm gonna get something to snack at. McDonald's or snack at the gas station. I'll buy you a Happy Meal. And then from there, I'm we'll out. Go on to, uh, I don't need that trash. Give me a Happy Meal. The group is headed on to Centerville, Tennessee. Then they're going to head on to Lindenburg and get Glenn over to Lindenburg. And I have to cut out and go back to work today. Let's see where we're at. My phone is doing the temperature thing. Cool down before you use it. So, it's not going to let me figure out which way I need to go. That kind of stinks. So I need to turn left. So I think I'll take a left right here and then go up a couple of miles. I'll check it again. Maybe the foam will cool down just a hair. I tell you that any ride that Road Captain Ronnie is leading turns out to be a great ride. I really wish I had the time today to finish up the ride and head on out to Centerville and then on to Lindenburg and see Glen off. 
but duty calls such is life so I'm gonna head up through here I'm gonna head up through here and find the interstate I guess and take it back only because I don't have navigation and I really don't know these roads back through here Hilltown to the left even still this highway right here it's still a nice little area but I have got to get myself some kind of mount that's actually going to work if you follow my channel you know the mount that I had before with that eye mount thing by Clockworks just was not a good motorcycle mount it may be a good mount for other stuff but every time I touch the bottom of the phone that thing would just fall right off so as far as motorcycles, it was not a great mount. So I've got to find something that grabs. It's like they've been changing that sign that maybe one time it was 50, they just moved it to 55. But I got to find a phone mount that, that grabs the phone and hold it, and then when I touch it, it doesn't want to just jump right off. That's some beautiful scenery right there, guys. Tennessee, what a beautiful place. Keep Tennessee beautiful. Santa Fe's that way. Water Valley's that way. Huh. I feel like I should really be connected. Let's see where we're at. One mile to snow and grow. Let's put a little Chris Stapleton in the background. So one mile of snow and then nine miles to Carter Creek. I'm looking for Snow Road. It should be up here on my left somewhere. And then nine miles to Carter Creek. But highway number seven. Next stop, I-65, and I'm headed back home. Hey guys, I appreciate you watching today's episode. If you have not already, please hit that like button. If you like this kind of motorcycle content, please consider subscribing to the channel. And remember, life doesn't make you happy. Happy to make your life. Thanks for watching, everyone. What do you have going on up here? I came cooking around this corner and all of a sudden everybody was dead stopped. Oh, this is recorded by the way. I didn't, I didn't think it wasn't recorded. Okay. <laughs> Just check it.